But Mercyhurst is going to lead this parade a little wide on this corner, a uh, conservative corner, I guess I'd say. Uh, and they are followed by Wellesley, bow only, number two. Only oh, yeah, two there. Got, we have some Wellesley people here. Yeah, Wellesley were second at the NC2As last year, and they are the reigning D3 rowing championships. Wow, okay, so way to go, Mercyhurst, with a relatively new crew. And notice on the bridge, this coach knows what he's doing. He has put his bow person on the starboard side to bring it around, and he's done that by putting six and seven on the same side. But here okay. come Wellesley in and the gray Wellesley has done the same thing wisely, and they are on their heels. Go Wellesley! Bow three in order. That's Bates College from Bates Lewiston, College, Maine. College from Lewiston. Here in the White Hall with the red blades, dark red blades. Great program. And, and on the inside of the corridor, here's someone taking a really nice turn. And that is Tufts. Tufts in their baby blue boat. Hull number five, having just passed hull number four, which is WPI. But a little duel here. Oh, it looks to me like the well Tufts done, Jumbos. Has, his, has her hand in the water as well. That, that's just, oh, that, just go straight, just go straight, Tufts. Oh, and look, Tufts is rowing with the little teeny comp blades, um, and so is WPI. So see. Yeah, oh. I've seen more of those comp blades in the sculling events than the sweep, but they some of the they colleges seem really to be migrating through into the sweep. Um, okay, now on the inside with the nice Bates on the inside with the. Uh, Oh, excuse me. Williams on the inside of the white hull and the pink ore collars. And, and on the hats yellow hats outside is Ithaca College on the uh, racing Williams, one of their normal rivals. And unfortunately, having to take the wide side around, those are the rules. But they're going to straighten themselves out. Good coxing here. Another crew with those small blades. It just, you know, we're, seems to be... Okay, and now they're getting going again. Bow number six out in front of Cambridge Here Boat Club in the Blue six. Hull. Grand Valley from Allendale, Michigan. Yeah, and that's a D2 school as opposed to D3. And bow nine now emerging in the Black Hull and the Maroon Blades. That's Clark University from Worcester. Yeah, nice job, Clark, pulling yourselves up into this race. Great racing out from Clark. And the second crew from Wellesley College, this is their 2V, which also placed second at NC2As last year. They were the team champions in the Division III NC2A trophy last year. And they've moved through bound number 10, Smith College from and Northampton. This is Smith, and we haven't seen Smith here for a number of years. So I'm welcome back, Smith. Okay, and now this looks to be... A Bates crew, bow number 13, approaching us with the dark red blades. Bates is B crew, because we've already seen one of them. And doing a nice job. And behind them, the distinctive blades of Coast Guard, bow number 12. Tufts, bow number 14, on their tail. Nice race here between. And, and Coast Guard is doing the right thing, I think, giving way. Well, hard to tell whether they're giving way or not, but there they are. Giving Tufts, good point, Tom. Giving Tufts room to cross their stern. Uh, so, 16 is next, and that is Trinity College Hartford in the dark hull with the white blades of the stripe. They've passed Williams, boat number 15, which is Williams' colors. Is that... Um, it's maroon and gold. I mean, purple thank, gold. thank you, Ellen. Yeah. But it looks, I don't see any gold, right? I see white. It's a very narrow gold stripe. It is okay. there. Okay, thank you, thank you. Uh, and that's Williams. Okay, and here we got Middlebury, very distinctive blades, bower number 17. And uh, doing a great job rowing on, they row on Lake Champlain, right? Or a little tributary of it. Um, Hamilton College, White Blades, bow number 19. 
Now, they just moved into their new Jason P. Andrus Boathouse on the Erie Canal this spring. Jason is a wonderful guy. He was a coxswain in the program, very generous supporter. Wesleyan, I'll be <clears throat> Then bout number 20, Wesleyan in the gray hull in the red and black. And over here, bow number 18, closer to us in That's the blue. Mount Lewis. Holyoke. Mount Holyoke. Off of the Connecticut River. Terrific. And then we've got the black and white checkered, I wouldn't call it checkered, but crosshatched blades there of the Bowden crew. And the coxswain's got the pink jacket on. High viz. Hi, Viz, and fashionable. Okay, and behind them, bow 22, at about starting spacing is Colby uh, College. And they are, yeah, they're doing a, a great job with the, must have changed their blade design from the last one we saw. Good job, Colby. Remember, I think there are about 35 entries here, so we've got a ways to go as we get down Okay, now, we are, this is hull number 20, bow number 23, WPI, uh, from Worcester, from Lake Quinsigamon, back, racing again, this must be their B-boat, behind them with a bit higher cadence, a little That's more That's going to be Smith College. Another so. Smith College boat, two Smith College boat, great to have them both here, and this one, Doing well, the coxswain egging them on, and then in the yellow is boat number 28, Bryn Mawr, which is past one boat. Bryn Mawr Rowing was founded in 1998 by Carol Brower, a former Olympian. And the owls are excited to get back here. They've got pressure from Washington College in the maroon hull at bow number 25, and it looks like UC Santa Barbara in the black and white. They've lost their bow number. It could be from contact, so I'm not sure, but I believe UC Santa Barbara. And then behind them, hull number 29, is University of Rochester's woman rowing. In the blue hull, just going under the bridge now, followed by 31, in the white hull, blue shirts, which is Creighton, from Nebraska. Creighton University from Omaha, Nebraska. Second, welcome. Welcome from Nebraska. Creighton, go for it. 800 meters. And now boat number 24. Looks like Bucknell by the... But that is indeed the UC Santa Barbara crew. Okay. So it must have been Colorado with the uh, missing bow number that we reported okay. earlier. Okay. It's a borrowing a Bucknell shell. But that is... Uh, and then on the inside, moving a bit faster, Skidmore with the green S's. Yeah, doing really well. Doing really well, Skidmore. And then on the far outside, started last but last no longer. Boat number 35, University of Calgary, province of Alberta, and host of the 1988 Winter Olympics. Yes, we know. And about 30 is the next Wellesley crew. They've Behind had three. The Wellesley. Yes, thank you, Tom, bringing up Wellesley. All right, and we think these may be the last two boats in this event. 32 and 34. Clark comes across first. Okay, on the outside here is boat number 32, and that's Clark University from Lake Quinsigamond in Worcester. And they are, they have, go, oh, they're fighting off the Coast Guard B boat, which is there. So we've got, all right, way to go, Clark, way to go, Coast Guard. Nice job. Oh, Coast Guard just caught a little crab, a little crab, over the head crab. Um, okay, put it back together, back on your seat. Let's go, Coast Guard. She's back. She's back. Oh, I don't know what you're saying. Uh, we have one, one uh, more race, one more shell in the distance coming up. You'll pick it up on the bridge soon. And we're hoping it's Connecticut College. And it is. 36. So assistant coach Daphne Mitchie is a graduated last year of the program. And this race is dedicated to her and her classmates who made it through the COVID protocols and left the program healthy. So great job. Great job to dedicate the race. 
Connecticut College rows down on the Thames River, which is really a beautiful place to row, is eight miles of rowing upstream to Norwich and an unlimited miles out into Long Island Sound. Boat number 36, Connecticut College. Wow, and a great cheering for Conn College from the shoreline downstream of us, terrific. All right, terrific job. Tom Scott, our results up. So, this is for the Collegiate Women's Eight and Mercyhurst with that young crew retained their number one position by winning this race in a time of 16.32. How do we do on the record? 16.32. 